Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, this is for a love connection or a connection that you have with a, another person. So it has to be an actual connection. So um, you don't have to be committed. You don't have to be married. Um, but they do have to know who you are. If you have a connection or you like somebody and they don't know who you are, you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month and maybe that'll resonate for you. But this is intended for somebody where there is some sort of a mutual connection of some kind. So I'm just going to see what we're going to get for you here, Scorpio. So welcome everybody. Welcome Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This will be out before um, Christmas, even though it's labeled January. So I do consider all my readings timeless. So it's for whenever you see it. Um, if you're interested in watching past readings, you can check the description box below for your playlist and feel free to browse my channel. So Scorpio, let's see what we have here. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we may get a sign, element, planet. See who you may be dealing with. For some of you, if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine little extra bonus here all the decks are listed below if you're interested in that lots of stuff in the description box um, if you'd like to check it out how to book a personal reading decks I'm using social media I do readings on Instagram I have a Facebook page um, tons of stuff down there so please feel free to check that out so let's see what we have Venus that is the planet of love so I do believe that is Libra and Taurus so this definitely is about love, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. So with this deck here, first thing I'm going to do is get an overall love energy between you and your person at this time, Scorpio. If you're not familiar with my readings, it is a love connection reading. So first I'll get a love energy between the two of you. Then I'll get one card for you, one card for your person. How are you both feeling about each other and the connection? And then we'll clarify that with tarot and then look at the actual situation, advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with more tarot on top of it. And then extra bonus tarot, uh, oracle messages at the end with that deck. So let's see here. Let me just move this there. Let's see. Scorpio. Let's get the overall love energy between you and your person. Whoever you're thinking about at this time for Scorpio, please. Oh, that's two. Um, no, that's two. I want one card for the overall love energy between Scorpio and their person at this time. So we have the Four of Cups energy here. So the Four of Cups energy can, you know, talk about being kind of, you know, dissatisfied, complacent, bored, not really happy, not really sad. I call that my blah, my blah card. Is your love life blah right now? Is your connection kind of blah right now? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe you're wanting more, not getting more. Um, I don't know, what's going on? It's a four of cups energy. Water energy, oh boy. What's, well, we do have the two of cups here, so. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here, uh, Scorpio, is put you on this side, your person on this side. So we're going to get one card each, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. And then uh, go over the bottom of the deck, and then we'll clarify more with the tarot. So let's get one. If you feel at any time, Scorpio, this is you, that's them. Please flip-flop, switch the energies anytime throughout this reading. You know how it works. Only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. All that is down below in the description box. So... They have the hermit energy here. Uh, so they, they may be in solitude right now. Maybe they withdrew from you. Maybe they're trying to figure out what they want. But you want to come together with this person. You definitely do want, this is soulmate unity, people coming here together. It's soulmate union coming together as, you know, a couple. So you definitely want that with this person. But I feel like, because they have a major arcana, so I feel like they withdrew. They're trying to figure out what they want, really thinking about this, you know, yeah, like turn that back and withdrew kind of energy, trying to figure it out, what they want. Do they want to move this forward? Do they, you know, do they, do they not, you know? So 
Let's get bottom of the deck energy. So we have manifest. So this is a brand new beginning. Manifesting a brand new beginning. So that's a magician. So I do see brand new beginnings and manifesting. That could just be your energy, like wanting this to brand new beginning to manifest and coming together. But I feel like they're like, like turn their back while they try to figure this out um, and what they truly want. Oh boy. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, with whoever you have in mind at this time. It could be anybody. I'll go over the signs um, at the end so I don't make it too confusing, but I will give, give the elements, like if it's water, fire, whatever. But um, all right. So let's clarify this Two of Cups for you, Scorpio, or whoever this is on this side. Let's clarify the Two of Cups and the Hermits. All right, I'm feeling this one over here. Ooh, and okay, so we got the wheel here on you. So, you know, this is about things moving forward, going in a better direction, divine timing, fate, destiny. So... You feel like this is going to like happen, like it's going to go in a better direction, like you could feel it, you want that, this will manifest. But they have the Eight of Pentacles energy, so that is, you know, they could be just working on themselves, because the Hermit um, is a solo number, and nine, Hermit is nine, and nine is a solo number, and the Eight of Pentacles is about working. So they could be working on themselves, trying to figure this out, what they truly want. So let's clarify the wheel for you, Scorpio. I feel like you can feel, you can sense divine timing is at play here, that this will eventually manifest, but they may be just be taking a long time while they figure it out, working on themselves. All right, so let's see. Look, this over here, the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, exactly. So. You got the four of wands on your side. So you, you know, you feel like this will stabilize. You feel, I mean, to me, four of wands can be a twin flame number. So you possibly feel like this is your soulmate, your twin flame. You want, you could want marriage or commitment from this person. That's what the four of wands energy is. Um, it's like you can sense, you know, soulmate union, things going in a better direction, stability, commitment between the two of you, but they have confusion here, um, confusion, decisions, options, um, trying to figure it out there. They're feeling, I feel very confused, imbalanced, but you know, they got the four, you know, the overall four cups energy, four is always like a foundation number. So I don't know. Let's see. I feel like they're working on themselves, trying to figure this out, feeling a little confused, but you can sense that this is probably going to eventually happen and manifest because you do have the two of cups you do have the four of wands which is marriage commitment stability and the wheel with things you know going in the right direction so let's see what your actual situation is here scorpio it's way too many All right i'm pulling that one so we got the king of pentacles that's earth energy that's very stable grounded energy the king of pentacles so you're wanting them to come in with a stable secure offer here to solidify this for the long term it's like king of pentacles energy so king queen however it resonates for you two of pentacles so yeah that's the imbalance right now juggling things around trying to balance this out and the nine of swords, yeah, stress, worry, anxiety, fear. So I feel like they have a lot of stress. That's on their side. So I feel like they're confused. They have stress, fear, anxiety. They're trying to work on themselves, figure this out. Again, with the two of pentacles energy between the two of you, like it could be in and out energy, you know, trying to balance it out. And you wanting them to come forward with the offer with the king of pentacles energy there with that pentacle, whether it's just commitment or it's being exclusive or whatever here you're you're waiting for that but it's like you can feel it coming it's just going to take a while because divine timing is at play here so this did fall out in reverse the hang man so the hang man in, in reverse is like 
it's taking action because a hangman up upright is about you know a pause a break reflecting gaining enlightenment gaining a broad perspective uh just hanging back and not taking any action but in reverse is about taking action so you're waiting for them to take action to become you know to come out of this hangman to gain their perspective to come forward with a solid offer but I feel like it's just not balanced right now and they're working on themselves. They're stressed, confused, trying to figure this out, what they truly, truly want moving forward. Yeah, the chariot. So that's on their side. So I think once they figure it out here, they're going to come moving in swiftly, fast, action forward. Um, success, victory, uh, a lot of drive, ambition, balance. So... We have imbalance energy here, but then we have balance. So I think once they figure it out, they're going to come rushing in. They're going to gain their balance. They're going to gain the perspective with the hangman in reverse. And they're, going to, they're just going to come rushing in. They're going to come rushing in with that offer as the king of pentacles. But they may not be there yet. It may take, uh, may take a little while here. Um, eight of pentacles, that is... Um, Pentacles is fall energy, so you may not see this till like next year sometime. Could be in the fall. Okay, so. And you know, the hermit is um, Virgo, so maybe they kind of withdrew from you in like Virgo season, which is the end of September into October. So that would be like, that would be like a whole year. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, or they could come rushing into you a cancer season. The chariot is cancer. Cancer is um, end of June into July. So I don't know. We'll see. So let's get your advice in this situation. Scorpio. So we have the nine of wands. You know, that's the wounded warrior, but keeps on fighting energy. That's a fire, passionate energy. So... Wow, we have the Ten of Wands. We've got the Nine and Ten of Wands. So, you know, you've been fighting a long, hard battle here. And maybe it's time just to withdraw your energy. I mean, not like blocking them or anything. But maybe you know they need to do what they need to do. They need to take care of themselves. They need to work on themselves. They need to figure things out. Um, so in the meantime, I think this is telling you the Nine to Ten of Wands even though you've been fighting and fighting, putting a lot of energy into this, maybe it's just like weighing you down. It's time, you know, just to kind of withdraw your energy from them. Um, I'm not saying block them or totally like not talk to them or anything like that, but don't invest so much. Don't, um, you know, don't put so much energy into it. Just work on you, do you. That's also that King Pentacles energy, King of Queen, doesn't matter. I'm getting, you know, as and with the hangman in reverse is, you know, just go on with your life and do you and don't just hang around, wait for this person anymore until they get their shit together. And I think then they're going to come rushing in. Once they see you, maybe like, like you now turning your back because you see both backs turned here. So I feel like, you know, maybe once you withdraw your energy and turn your back, it may also, um, you know, get them to figure things out a little bit quicker here. So... Let's get a couple more to clarify this. Um, I think I just had something flip here. I think I did. No? Okay. Clarify your advice here for Scorpio. So we have the Three of Swords. So, yeah, you're feeling hurt here. Heartbroken and hurt because maybe they're taking so long and they don't know, like, they can't decide whether or not they truly want to be with you and manifest this brand in the beginning. And maybe you've been waiting and waiting. So, you know, the three of swords, it could be third party. I mean, they could be involved with somebody else or it just could be their own uh, emotional state, their own um, like fears and things like that, which is could be the third party that's holding them back. Doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be obsessions, addictions, um, working too much. I mean, it could be anything here. Eight of Wands. So this is a fiery, passionate action and communication. So definitely here. I feel like once your advice is once you kind of turn your back, withdraw your energy, not invest so much, 
and just do you, move forward with you, they're going to come rushing in here. They're finally going to get their shit together, figure it out, and they're going to come rushing back here. And I just got the same sort of um, energy for um, Leo, so that's weird. All right, so let's see the possible outcome here for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, what's the possible outcome here in this connection for Scorpio? Going to the bottom one, yeah. The moon. So, you know, not seeing things clearly, not, you know, really sure how things are going to play out. You know, you withdraw your energy, you do you, you concentrate on you moving forward and you know a lot of moon energy here so you're not you're not really sure you know what's going to happen i don't see things clearly i can't see things clearly i don't know what the what moves they're going to make what they're going to decide what they're going to do but then this also can be about deep feelings and emotions it can be about finally things coming to light so let's get a couple more clarifiers for that Wow, so we got the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So what I feel is that they're finally going to get over their conflicting energy and come rushing in here with the Knight of, Knight of Wands, even though it's just a knight. But still, that's taking that fast-paced, fiery action forward. Um, very passionate action. So, yeah, they're going to come rushing in here with a lot of fire, passion. I do see a lot of red in here, too, which, you know, kind of it's like love energy also. Um, yeah, so I think they're going to get over their conflict there. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Six of Cups. So definitely here could be soulmate energy here. Could have had past lives with this person or you've known them since childhood. Thinking back on fond memories and nostalgia kind of energy. Page of Swords. So rushing in here at truthful communication kind of energy. Um, could be keeping tabs on one another even though, you know, maybe not really talking right now. Three of Cups, so coming together, rejoicing. Hey, can we go out and talk? Can we have a cup of coffee, a drink? Can we talk about this? And then rejoicing and having a good time. Reun reuniting. Death, so that's your energy, Scorpio. So I feel like here, let's see what's in the devil. So yeah, you may feel like because ending the toxic energy. So they could be ending the toxic energy that's weighing them down. Or you're feeling like, you know, I got to put an end to this, you know, maybe their energy is toxic to you because they can't figure their shit out. And you're like, you know, I'm ending that and not going to invest so much time and energy because it's just making me kind of sad and lonely right now with this Five of Cups energy. But here's the angel de la Nui. So this is the angel that brings blessings and happiness and joy and wish fulfillment and healing energy. Out of the darkness comes the light. So this is the angel of the night. So, yep. So I do feel like things are going to transform here. Out of the sad, um, lonely energy. Ending toxic energy here, whether it's you or them. Ending that energy will lead to reuniting, coming back together. Truthful, honest communication with your soulmate here. So for the signs, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Scorpio, we have Capricorn, um, let's see here, we have Pisces, this there, we have Pisces, we have Virgo, we have Sagittarius, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. Let's see, I'm trying to remember. Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer. So, I mean, they could be anybody, but those are the signs I mainly see. But we have a lot of signs here, so they could be, they're really anybody. So don't get too caught up on the signs. So what I'm going to do here with this deck now, Scorpio, is pull a few more messages for you about this connection. So I do ask Scorpio, if you like my reading and you like my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You'll be notified. I do four different readings a month. I do a love connection. I do singles who's coming towards you. I do um, a tarot forecast, sort of like a general reading. Sometimes it's about love, sometimes not. And I do... Um, spiritual messages angel messages that kind of energy also bonus reading so um 
if you would like that, hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. And thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get, I'm feeling this one right here. All right, let's see. We have You Are the Universe. So 29 and 29 is 11, which is half of the Twin Flame number. So this definitely could be a soulmate Twin Flame energy here. You are the universe. So that's like both of you being as one, being in line, being in line with the universe, universal energies. What do we have here now? Soul family. Exactly. Nine. 36 is nine. So nine, you know, has a lot of different energy, but soul family. Yeah, I definitely feel you come from the same soul tribe, the same soul family, soulmates. And then we have there is only light. So 30, which is three, is about coming together, reuniting, celebrating, rejoicing, working together. So I only, there is only light. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like things will eventually come to light and a whole new light will be shed on this connection here. Because you see light there, you see light here. Let's see what's um, on the bottom of the deck. Awakening, exactly. And then we have two, which is about unity. Definitely here, people coming to their awakening and realizing, you know, this is my soulmate, this is my person, and things are manifesting forward with that wheel. I think it's just going to take some time. I think once you withdraw, draw, they're finally going to get their crap together. And I do see union here. It may take a while, so it's depending how long you want to wait. But I feel like once you work on you, do you, withdraw your energy, and boom, this, I think, will kind of come together. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. So <laughs> wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.